What's going on guys, Phil here from Custom Offsets, Custom Offsets TV on YouTube. We got Dustin back for another episode of From the Gallery. We're rating your trucks. This time we picked quite a few of them, so we're gonna go through these rapid fire style. So look at the photos, think of a number, give it, and then quick explanation, we're moving on to the next one. We're gonna try to get through some of these, all right? 2016 Chevy Silverado 1500, American Forces. These are pretty slick. 24 by 14, negative 73s, uh, 35 by 13 and a half Fury Country Hunter MTs and a nine inch Magoys. It's got that like, teal blue color paint job. Nice photos, uh, Taylor made photography here. Shout out to you, cause these are really good. Looks like maybe just a smidge of squat. It's probably bit. cranked all the way up to nine. Uh, this lift is really like, you know, seven to nine, but it's mostly a seven inch. Unless you crank it, you can get nine inches out of it. Right. Pretty slick though. Alpha Z71 is the Instagram on here. He's got the plate to match, so LTZ. Okay, yep, got it, got it, got it, got it. All right, that's all the photos, ready? Yep. Three, two, one, nine. nine. This truck's really nice. I really, Correct. I really dig this. I love the color on it. I think they did a nice job picking the polished wheels to go with the chrome accents. Absolutely, flows well. Yeah, and the chrome and the blue is that's a great look. I love that color and that body style. So nice, nice work. On to the next. Ninety-two Ooh. Dodge D two fifty Fuel Maverick, uh, twenty by ten twenty fours and Nitto four twenties two eighty five forty fives. It's on stock suspension. It's a two wheel drive. Classic Dodge These here. Are the Cummins. Um, I don't. You can get the D two fifties in yeah. either the three sixty gas or the twelve pound. It doesn't specifically say inch and a half wheel space. It also it doesn't specifically say whether it, whether it is or isn't. Okay. It's got that classic like two tone paint. Mm -hmm. um, really clean, sharp looking truck. Oh, Wisconsin truck too. Oh, neat. Very neat. First gen. Cool. Is that me? No, that's not me. That's All right, you. ready? Yes. Three, two, one, seven. seven. Wow, this is going well. Um, I think I would like it more if it was lifted, honestly, with maybe a, a more aggressive mud tire or a hybrid tire. That's Not fun. really sure if I dig the low, old school truck with this wheel setup, right? specifically. So it's the same thing for me. I love the truck, I love the color. I like it lowered, I think it looks really good. I don't like the wheel and tire combo. Cause it's like, the Fuel Maverick I think is more of a, I mean, it's a show wheel, yes, right. but it's more of an off-road styled wheel, Correct. but then it's on like a street truck platform. With a street tire, I think, and that's what, yeah, that doesn't do it for me. Tundra. Fuel coupler, 20 by 10s, uh, Toyo Open Country MTs, Bill Stein leveling kit. Bill Stein, Bill Steen, yeah, everybody, say Bill Stein everybody says nice. them differently. I don't know what's correct. Texas truck, nice photos. Not a ton of photos, but good ones. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Love the stock headlights on these Tundras too. The LED stock running lights. The LED. Mm -hmm. Got her? Yep. Three, two, one, seven. seven. Jesus. <laughs> um, I think I would prefer a slightly more off-road setup, maybe not the 20s on here, and only because on the fuel coupler, the way the spokes are designed, and then with that little machined piece on the rim of the wheel, it makes it look like, like these 20s look like they're 22s. Yeah, because it looks so it much just, bigger. Yeah, it correct. makes the spokes look longer, which is why I maybe step down to an 18 if you're gonna stay in the style wheel, or if you just wanna go with a little more rugged off-road look. But I do like the finish on these uh, wheels. Fuel does a nice job. They've got a double dark tint uh, over the machining, so it's okay. like a, it doesn't look like bright silver, sure. which there's no other chrome or anything on this truck, so I think it's a good wheel, wheel choice for that. Yeah, I think it looks good. Um, I'm not a huge fan of the wheels personally, but that's just my, you know, my two cents. It's because of the spokes, I'm telling you. It it's probably because of that is. style on the edge, it makes them seem bigger. They look bigger. so big. And 22 yeah. by 10s is so tall, but not very wide. Right. So it can it can look disproportionate. The photos are also really dark too. That's true. And they're very well styled, photo. but that's yeah, just, what, it's just what we're going off great, of. You know. 2015 Silverado 1500 Method NV is the I most popular the method that we have on the website. It's a positive 18 offset, 285-75 ridge graps, and a six inch BDS. Good quality stuff here. Quality mm -hmm. wheels, quality tires, quality suspension. Decent photos as well. I like this finish. It's like a it's gray graphite. Is it? It's, it almost looks like a satin black. It, you know, it probably is, but the way that the light hits it, Pretty sharp truck. Yeah, Looks like I we're agree. somewhere in Arizona, maybe, perhaps. Maroon, I uh, don't see a lot of maroon trucks. Got a topper on it, also, I failed to mention that. I feel like Which that is really interesting, because I don't usually like toppers, but that looks yeah, really right. good. Got enough for it? Yeah. Three, two, one, eight. eight. We are right on the money. Today. Yeah, this is cool. doing, <laughs> doing pretty good here. Um, I think I would ditch the topper. I understand, though, that like from a 
from a usability standpoint, there's probably a good reason for it. But from an appearance point, I like it without the topper. Sure. I mean, every teach their own. Everybody's got their own reason for the build. Love the wheel choice, love the tire selection, love the lift selection. Yeah, I think, I mean, as you said, wheel tire suspension all looks good. Um, Ooh, I, maybe add like an ADD bumper or something. Yeah, that, that would that would be nice. Remove I, that chrome. I like the like the satin black or the gray or whatever the wheel finish whatever is finish with it the is. red with yeah. that little bit of chrome in the grill, I think looks super good. 19 Toyota Tacoma. Are we in Hawaii right now? I Where so. are we? Fuel Mavericks with some custom paint, uh, color match to the body, 20 by 12 negative 44s, which is huge for a Tacoma. Yeah, that's big. A turbo Trailblade, 33 by 12 and a half, and an 8-inch Pro Comp. Oh, it's a, we got some squat. A little bit of lean there. Yeah. Going on here. Lots of lots of lighting. Mm -hmm. uh, rock lights, grill lights. It's pretty slick, pretty clean. Yeah. Looks like suspension work has been painted as well. Mm -hmm. Okay. Three, two, one, Eight. six. I just can't. Something about me morally inside just tells me not to put 20 by 12s on a Tacoma. Really? Yeah. I think it looks super good. With an eight inch lift, it's such a such a tall lift for mm -hmm. such a, and it's a TRD. See, this is where like every time we bring up a Tacoma. Here we go, pre 17 by eight, pre-runner, Overland. I mean, like <laughs> that would be my preference here. Yeah. Although this is really clean, love, absolutely love what we did with the color matching. Yes. I think this is an appropriate amount. Correct. The barrel's being blue, but the face is being black. Yes. I dig it, I think it looks really nice. Ties in well with the suspension, obviously ties in with the body color. Excellent job on the color match. Yeah, I think it's awesome. Color match looks great. The lean, I'm not super into, but other than that, I like it. It's a really clean build. 15 Ram. Wow, we got a lot of orange going on. Fuel Octane, Wild. which I feel like is a fitting name for the wheels on this truck. Uh, also some custom paint going on here. 22 by 10 negative 12s and 35 by 12 and a half open country RTs on a four inch rough country. We got a massive front bumper going on Big here with a winch. Bumper. We got some uh, race stripes, painted grill, painted wheels, some fender flares, taking it off-road. Off okay. Nice, I can get on board with that. Black housing headlights, prob probably stock. There are so many uh, trim packages on all the new vehicles that I just can't keep you up can't with. You can't keep up with what color. What does what. Yeah. Uh, very dark taillights. Aftermarket rear bumper as well. So looks like he actually does some pretty decent off-roading with yeah. this. Got the American flag decals on the truck with the correct orientation of the flag. Props Bonus to you for points. that. Thank you very much. It's pretty much flush. Yeah, so I wonder which if you're actually doing some decent off-roading, which it looks like he does. Mm -hmm. I don't know how often it happens, but it looks like he definitely took it off-road. Right. You don't want super wide wheels. You gotta fit down the trail and you don't want to cover your truck in dirt because sometimes you know you don't see a car wash for a couple of days. So okay. Um three, two, one, six. Seven. I think the front bumper on this is a little too big for me. I would agree. I understand, again, practicality of having it, but on this truck, it looks huge. Yeah, I don't know if that's a body style thing with the front, that it just looks that much bigger. Because Ram agree. did a really nice job when they designed this generation truck of making it look kind of sporty. And I like the way that the hood angles forward and they got the Ram Air like uh, scoops on there. But then the big front bumper kind of chops up those factory body lines. So that's where a little bit of the negativity comes from. Um, also, it's a very, very bright colored truck, so I don't know if I would do the bright colored wheels as well, just because it's a lot of orange. Sure. But then again, I feel like I go back and forth. On one side, I say, yes, I love painted wheels, and the other side, I say, I don't. But, yeah, literally you know, each truck 10 is- seconds ago. <laughs> yeah, each, each truck has their own, and yeah. that's different. That was a painted barrel right. versus a black yeah. face, and this has painted spokes, so. Yeah, yeah I would agree. It's, it's neat. A lot of hammering going on Can out there. Not? No, it's super neat. Um, yeah, I would agree. I think the front bumper is a little aggressive for me. I'd have been. I like the rear bumper. I'd have been a six with you as well, but having some off-road pictures. I mean, at least it's. It looks like he's purposely built. For yeah, that, so. you've got the bumper for the clearance, and you're right. not going to smash up your, you know, plastic bumper cover on there. So it all makes sense. Correct. Right. Yeah. All right, that's another episode from the gallery. If you guys want your trucks rated, we promise we won't be too mean. You can add them at customosses.com forward slash add. If you don't know what the gallery is, that's you can figure out what exactly fits your truck. That's how we get all the specs and read them off to you. So you can just search your year, make and model, and see what other people have done. So that's that. That's all I need to say. Oh, we have new gear. Dustin and I aren't wearing it, which is why I forgot, but there's a whole bunch of it on the website if you want to check that out too. All right? It's pretty neat. Peace.